Hi creators, today I'm going to create a page turning effect in DaVinci Resolve 16. I'm going to be using nodes in the Fusion tab, so be prepared for that, but it creates a very cool effect. And I want to just show you how simple this is, so let's get started. All right, so we're going to start in the actual editing tab here in DaVinci Resolve. And I want to go to the effects and drop a fusion composition down into my timeline. I'm going to stretch that out to about 15 seconds. Go ahead and select the fusion composition. We'll go ahead and go into the fusion tab now. Okay, right now we just have a blank slate, so to speak. All we have is the media out. And I want to get a couple of clips here. And I've got these two selections here. Get rid of that merge. Okay, so I have a clip here, and it's just some whale watching here off the coast of California. And on the same trip, we've got some dolphin sightings. And so I'm going to just put these two clips together into a little book, and the page is going to turn so we can see that effect. And so what we need to do to start is I want to create some text on these pages as well and I'm going to create kind of a border effect around the actual video and so let's just create those things right now I'm going to go ahead and drag some text down here and we're going to just call this one whales make this a dark blue and we're going to size this up just quite a bit here. So let's go ahead and just pull this up out to that location there. Let's go ahead and create a background. I'm going to add tool and down here under generators there's the background. We're just going to make this kind of a white color. I just want to give it like a picture book look and so we'll have kind of a white there. I'm also going to set my size, and so right now it is a 1080p. I want to add about 10 pixels all around the edge on, e on each side. So let's go to 1960, and we'll, and we'll go 1120 for our height. You're going to have to turn off this auto resolution to do that. Okay, so let's get things arranged here. I have my background, I have my text. I have my media for the whales and I want to go ahead and put a merge in here now. So let's go ahead and drop that on there. It's just going to be a 2D merge. For the background, I want to have my media. And for the foreground, I want to have this text that I created. We'll go ahead and drag that up into the upper left window so we can take a look at what we have. And so it's just showing that it's whales. If you don't like the location of where your video is, um, the easiest way to do if you're just dragging and dropping into Fusion in this location is just drag it left or right. And so I'm going to start a little further back. I want to see that whale. Let's take a look at that. A little bit more. About right in there. Okay, so when we start this video, we're going to get that whale. And let's go ahead and right click in the flow area and say arrange to grid. Oops. And so now when I move these around, it's going to kind of keep things organized. I also have this, this background here and I'm going to need to create a second merge. Let's go ahead and do that. And we'll put the background in of this white background and then my video with text on top. Take a look at that one. I had to go back and fix the width here because I didn't have the auto resolution turned off. So make sure that's on 1960. And so now we're going to have that nice border that we placed in there all the way around with the second merge here. So that's what we're looking for in this location. And so the next thing that I want to do is I want to create an image plane in 3D space. Go ahead and drag and drop that over there. We'll connect the last uh, part that we made. So now in 3D space, we have our border with our video in the middle. 
And you can see as we scrub through here, it will play on top of that billboard. Next thing I want to do is put a merge 3D into this location here. Go ahead and set it down there. I'm going to move this media out, out of the way. Move this media in down here, the dolphins. And so I also want to create a second page. And I'm going to just use this same background that I created before. I'm going to select it, right click on it, and hit copy. Right click in the flow area and say paste instance. And so I don't have to create it a second time. And if I want to change my color, I can go in here. I'll go ahead and move this over here so you can see it. If I want to change my color, it's going to change the color of both of those. I don't want to make it green, but just wanted to show you how to do that. Save a little time. And so now we have the media and we have our background. I want to create a, another merge here in this location. And this time the background is going to be on top. Media there. So let's take a look at that. So we have our border around there, and that's exactly what I want to look at. Looking good there. I don't like the location of this video either. I'm going to kind of drag that back a ways. Okay. Let's go ahead and make our image plane for, for this one as well. Put that on a billboard. So you can see my two image planes here. And then I'm going to merge these two image planes together now using this Merge 3D that I had in place here. And so input one, right on the side here. So I want to use the top one as input one. The dolphins as input two. So let's take a look at that merge. All right, so they're kind of stacked on top of each other right now, so you can't see them both. but. When I do the next step, you're going to be able to take a look at these. So, okay, now let's do some manipulation of these billboards. We're going to go ahead and add in a bender into this. So I'm going to go ahead and click in the flow area, say Add Tool. Under 3D, I want to go to Bender 3D. Okay. Let's also add a Transform 3D. Right-click in the flow area again, 3D. Transform 3D. So I have both of those ready to go. Go ahead and insert the Merge 3D1 into the bender. And we're going to do some animation here. <clears throat> we're going to start animating the bend here. So go ahead and make sure that Bend 3D1 is selected. And I want to change the axis to X axis. It defaults on Y. And at 100, let's go to 100 here. Go ahead and go ahead and click this triangle here. And so we will have a fixed point. Go to 120. And at this point, we're going to select the amount 0.3 under the X bend. And then let's go to 160. Back down to zero there. So I just move the bend over to this side, and we can see we're getting bending up and then back to zero. That's what I want to see. Okay, so now we're going to need to turn that page, so we'll have the bend go into the transform. And we're going to start at 100 again. Go ahead and under the Y rotation, Let's go ahead and animate that. Let's jump forward to 160. And we'll go all the way up to negative 180. Now let's take a look at the transform. OK, you can see that page turning, which is perfect. That's what I want to see. Let's go back to this point here. I do want to set a pivot, which I did not do. And I'm going to go ahead and set a negative 
0.5 pivot because it was trying to pivot around the center point and I didn't want to do that so there we go so now we can see it's turning around the edge of this so it's negative 0.5 is what you want to do there okay so now let's go ahead and create I'm gonna move this media out again over again I want to go ahead and create another merge 3d I'm gonna go ahead and place it down here bring in this transform 3d here in the scene input one let's go ahead and bring a camera in there let's take a look at my merge 3d scene right here bring my camera back a bit all right let's go ahead and do a render 3d off of the merge and we'll go ahead and take a look at that render 3d over in this view I'm a little close there with my camera I want to back it up a bit so let's set this camera position Okay, we can see that page turning very nicely there. And so I have one little issue here with my second uh, media location here. I need to insert my image plane onto the back of this merge here. Let's go ahead and do that now. Under scene input two. Okay, we want to make image plane one. We're going to delete the back side of that one image plane 2 we want to delete the front side of that one okay so we're only seeing what we want to see here so now we have the whales page it's going to turn into the dolphins page good alright so now let's add another page here onto the back side we will go ahead and add just a image plane let's go ahead and add a background copy this one paste an instance let's go ahead and add some text call this dolphins Put a merge into place here, and we will make the background into this yellow tab here. Foreground into the green, and look at that merge there. Change the color of this text, obviously. Actually, let's do this. We'll change the instance here. make another image plane bring in that merge into that image plane there and then we're going to add this one into to our merge 3d so what that did on the instancing it changed all my my colors there let's go ahead and change this back to white and we'll go ahead and change this one. Just make the text the blue color that I want. So I can keep my borders the white color that I wanted. And so now let's take a look at that. Back to this render 3D. Okay, I have one little issue there. It is not turning right on the binding point here that I want on the edge. So I'm going to make that adjustment now. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at a couple little adjustments here. I want to make the pivot for the rotation here negative 0.5. Forgot that step. On both of these image planes.
So we need to make sure this center is on zero. And that was my problem. So you can see anything greater than zero, it's going to break there. Okay, so this can be modular. You can just keep adding on different bending and transform tools right to the next merge uh, point at the end of the line here. And so you can keep turning these pages. You can add as many pages as you want. And by putting the camera in there, you can do some cool things. So basically, if we want to animate this camera, so let's start here. We turn the page on the dolphins, and then we'll go to about 225. Select the camera. We'll go ahead and animate the top three on translation. And then we'll go up to about 260. Get this thing centered. Okay. So now as we after we turn the page here, get to watch the dolphins a little bit. Then we're going to, get to zoom into this page of the actual video. So you can animate your camera any way that you'd like. And that's a little bit slow, but you get the idea. You can zoom into the pages, zoom back out, flip the pages, do whatever you want to do. So take a look at that, and hopefully that was helpful for you. I know that was a little bit longer than I wanted to make it. Hopefully you can put together your own flipbook projects just like After Effects in the comfort of your own home and hopefully that is very helpful for you. If you do like it, please like the video if you like the channel or if you'd like to see other special effects or cheap videos like this, please subscribe to my channel and I'll try to make some more for you. Thanks again for watching. Take care, guys.